Welcome to another CAN Diagnostic video. Today we have top five favourite tools or favourite instruments that we'd like to use on a day to day basis. Started by the Gibby something or other, uh, good channel, which I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'll put a link in the description. Uh, followed by Igor, the cards exposed, then by the Irish Leon, Budget and Leggett, followed by uh sir gay lewis at lm auto repairs um so watch them in that order and look forward to to your video here's mine number one scope on a rope test lead doesn't have to be expensive you can pick these up for a tenner less than that probably it's a load you need it's a load you need for testing the circuits got a pair of probes a hook pp3 got loads of them but none of them put load on the circuit and when you're testing a circuit that's operating you need it loaded so that's number one number two torch does that have to be anything special pick them up from painland doesn't matter but the important thing is seeing in those dark places that the normal lights will not pick up they're not expensive keep them in your pocket Get it out, use it, stick it back. They don't take up a lot of room. They ain't got to be massive. Anything. That's my daily driver every single day. It's in my pocket along with my snap rag. Next. Rear multimeter. That's an expensive one. For 99% of the time, you do not need to be looking into the hundreds or thousands of millivolts or amps. If you're testing the battery, you want to see 12.6, you can see 12.6 on a 5 pound multimeter or a 1,000 pound multimeter. It doesn't, really, doesn't make much odds. Number four is probably an oil can. Now, I know that's a bit of a cop out, but imagine how often you'd get a noisy bushing, noisy bearing, doors a bit sticky, squeaking, every service, put a bit of oil on it, put a bit of oil on it. It's not hard, it's dirt cheap, practically free, and it goes a long way. So it's little things that are really important. So I think that takes us to number five. Now I've been doing this job a long time. So I do, for those who don't know, I do everything from lorries to cars, um, auto electrical work mainly. Um, and even though I've been doing it a long time and I've got tens of thousands of pounds worth of equipment, the number one thing that I rely on the most is help from other people. It's also help that I give to other people, bar none. I've, the people that I've met through YouTube have quickly become some of the, the best people I know, some of the best friends I have. And that, that's, that's amazing to me. You can pick up a phone, ring one of them, or quite often they'll rig me for advice, help, help each other. It's not hard. The way I do that the easiest, instead of answering loads of messages I get, is through the forums. And I'll show you a quick brief on the one that I use and one that I help on on a daily basis. This is the one, prodiag.boards.net. It's run by ECU Tech and LM Auto Repairs. Now, I know you've heard of both of them. Obviously, LM Autos is Lewis, and ECU Tech is an ECU specialist from Dane Safe called Chris. Two top blokes. If you've got questions to ask, ask them here. If you've got people to help, help them on here. Would be a lot better place if we just helped each other a little bit more. Right? And finally, Lewis, stop being nasty to Leon. It's not his fault, he's a bit simple. I actually rang him today and he counted to five, okay. He, I asked him to count to 10. He stumbled between seven and eight, I'll be honest, but we got there in the end. I helped him along. He's not that bad. Although when I asked him what his favorite color was, he did say bacon. So, hmm. Maybe I'll get him one of them paint by numbers or something for his birthday. He'll like that. He likes crayons. Right. Look forward to hearing your suggestions. Till next time. Ta-da.